पीछे अगर मच्छर आएंगे तो प्लीज बॉदर मी माइंड में जो भी कहते हैं एंड हाँ मैंने अभी मारा है लिटरली क्या हाई यू गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम योर विद दिस फन वीडियो फॉर यू ऑल एंड द आइडिया बिहाइंड दिस वीडियो इज दैट आई एम गोइंग टू इन्वाइट सम गेस्ट ओवर एंड आस्क दैम दीज टेन यूनिक डिफरेंट एंड फन क्वेश्चन सम अनकम्फर्टेबल क्वेश्चन दैट दे विल हैव टू आंसर एंड बाय द वे ओके इज दिस सेट या and by the way i have personally curated these questions for the guest that i'm inviting today the first guest to answer these 10 fun questions is by the way tumne starting mein dekh hi liya hoga maine unka clip dal rakha hai already but still i have to introduce even though he does not need an introduction but still he runs this youtube channel called yj reviews by the way i have a fun story behind it ek second hi lagega aur wo ye hai jab main apna channel start karne ka soch rahi thi to unka channel was one of the few channels that i was following related to football jo ki ek indian content creator bana rahe the so that is why i am so happy that my first guest on my channel is going to be him that is yash तो इस वीडियो में क्या होने वाला है उसका आइडिया तुमने लगा ही लिया होगा एंड गाइस ट्रस्ट मी उनके आंसर्स आर वर्थ लिसनिंग टू सो स्टे ट्यून टू द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो एंड आल्सो आई गो हेड एंड कमेंट बिलो योर आंसर्स आई वुड लव टू रीड दैट लेट्स जस्ट कैट इनटू द वीडियो नाउ हां ओके क्वेश्चन 1 एज पर योर ओपिनियन व्हिच एरा ऑफ रियल मद्रिड वाज द बेस्ट 11 एवर असेंबल्ड बाय द क्लब I think this has a very simple answer. 98 to 2002, the Ronaldo, Hierro, Beckham, Salgado, uh, Roberto Carlos, that proper team, Raul. For a fact, I've got a beautiful jersey. I just ordered it yesterday, and luckily, so you answered this question. Okay, Beckham ki jersey, Siemens Mobile, the classic Real Madrid jersey. When they won three Champions League and two La Ligas within five years, so obviously that's a very simple answer. Personally, Mira, since I've been watching football 2013, से I would say I know ये काफी मैं confused हूँ literally मेरे पास एक तो पहली टीम में 2013 वाली when they won the decima when Di Maria he uh, Hesse was coming, Morata was coming, Ronaldo, Bale, Benzema we had that proper players Isco was coming from Malaga and but I think the the, the team I'll choose which will which will be controversial I'd say the 2016-17 when madrid won the double when ronaldo scored a brace against juventus champions league final that team which had kovacic morata at sort of really good second backup um akraf hakimi in the right back position and proper marcelo was in his prime i think that was a team which i liked personally it gave me a lot of emotions not the best assembled ever but personally my favorite question number 2 which indian football club would you like to manage so ah uh, i think currently i'm entering this phase of management in india so uh, obviously jitne ko information milti hai regarding isl i i think it's it's a business of greed so if i'm greedy i'll manage somebody from isl uh, i like hyderabad fc kafi kyunki wo kafi young players leke aate hain mohammad yasir akash mishra uh, the right back ashish mehra I'm, 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 ashish mehra the cricketer so i'm forgetting the name of the right back but ha uh, very young kafi young players uh, but the one i'll choose would be delhi fc surprisingly so because i live in delhi and i think delhi fc delhi fc right now is preparing for the durand cup so i'd like to manage a team of my hometown you know why not uh, it's not the biggest of step but i think first step is always important so that would be my team question number 3 if given the choice where you would have to swap a real madrid club legend for a barcelona one who would you bring in and who would you sacrifice wow I was having this uh, discussion with a friend of mine, and uh, I was like, "Boy, Puyol, Puyol, say ye mujhe. Like, Puyol is like Madrid player. Like, he has that mentality of never giving up and all. He's also very fair play. That favorite moment when he sort of protected PK out out of doing some weird stuff he was doing, obviously to provoke more action. So, Puyol is a proper leader for me. I really loved him as a Barca player, as a Madrid fan. I I didn't watch him live, obviously, but I think from what I've seen of YouTube and those compilation of his leadership moments, I think people you all would. If I have to sacrifice one, that's a good one. If I have to sacrifice one, a Real Madrid legend. You know what? I I count Alvaro Arbeloa because you support Liverpool too, I know, and Arvar Alvaro Arbeloa played for Liverpool too. So I think he's a Madrid legend. He spent like nine years at Madrid in different spells. So ah, uh -huh, I'd swap Arbeloa and get Puyol. Easy. Um, sorry, Arbelova. Question number four is one rule that you would like to change and one rule that you would like to introduce in football. Ah, uh, one rule I would like to change. Hmm. I think it's not a rule, but I don't like that caterpillar caterpillar rule. जो हर कोई बोल रहा है आजकल. When the free kicks happen and those players just snuck in behind the wall, underneath the wall. Sorry. 
to block those because my favorite goal of ronaldo has been that underneath goal like underneath the wall goal free kick when he scored against bayern munich champions league semi final uh 2013 14 i need to see them and players just lying behind underneath the wall sneaking it i don't like that so i hope this is not a rule but i hope uh, the referee just doesn't let that happen i mean there's no hope obviously but still that's a very very weird one and the one on introduce i i think uh, again it's a personal bias it's my personal opinion from what i see i like because i'm into management i like play moving i like players having mm, spending less time on the ball so for example a player like neymar collects the ball and he showboats he keeps the ball for at least 7 8 seconds which i think is a long time and he does massive weird stuff like to hold the player up again and again and just to give pass backwards i think for showboating or some extra step over or something like that the referee should book the player <laughs> i know this sounds weird but i think i do that i mean if i have to force one um, otherwise obviously you can talk about offside rule and the lines being thicker or thinner handball rule the blatant ones but Huh, I think book a player if he show boats a lot. Book him. Moving on, the next question is: You may have seen this animated series called Galactic Football. I have not seen it, but I have heard about it. If you had to choose your strongest eleven from the active players that would represent planet Earth, who would they be? You know, I I take this question a bit blatantly. So strongest, I choose my front three. Strongest at least to be right winger Adam Atraore. <laughs> Why not? um because he was excellent against united in the previous game uh the the center forward i choose romelu lukaku again why not and the left now uh, the center back uh, the center forward i choose erling haaland i li- i think he is very strong i think he's got that buzz about him that energy which is very difficult to handle if you're a defender and on the left wing i'll choose mbappe because i think the same he's also very much energetic and pacey and he's sort of that superhero guy i'm really sorry for not picking the cliche messi and ronaldo but in the midfield i'll go a bit technical i'll go i like personally pedri uh, that left midfielder role i love him a right midfielder modric the best number eight i've seen in my life time without a doubt and the one football will miss when he'll retire sooner uh, hopefully later and number 6 this is not a modric bias i know but casemiro i think casemiro is i could have picked kante too but i think casemiro is especially this season he's been excellent like three games he's been so good with the ball so i think and my right back would be um if i again stick to the stronger niche i'll 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 pick kyle walker i think i really like him his recovery runs in the euros were excellent uh, my central mid partnership is very easy uh, it's varan and virgil van dijk easily because i think they both feel complement each other so well in my opinion they need to play together i know who i think al khalifi could make that possible <laughs> sooner or later but a uh, left back um that's a good one left back i choose um You know what? Left back, I'll choose Andy Robertson. I think I really like him a lot. So he could be that guy to, you know, especially we've got Kyle Walker who sort of stays deep a lot. Like Andy Robertson can burst for, you know, a balance. Also, my goalkeeper Kurtva, definitely without a doubt, without a doubt, the best. The next question is: According to you, who is the most promising under 18 defender, midfielder, and attacker? So this question is testing my FM scout uh, ranging, but I. Uh, I think I'll start with the attacker. My personal favorite attacker off the top of my mind is uh, 17-year-old Yusuf Amukoko from Borussia Dortmund. He's German. He scored 88 goals in 114 games, which is insane. Obviously, in academy level, but I think he could be that. Not only Germany is that number nine and sort of. I, I, I think I like. I include him towards that mix of Mbappe and Haaland. He gives me a lot of Mbappe vibes in terms of that turn of pace and that Haaland buzz and dominance. You know. He's very short too, but he's very much physical and very much energetic, uh, and he's got that eye for goal, obviously. So, Mukoko, uh, 17-year-old, under 18. Uh, my midfielder would be. Uh, this is a good one, actually. My midfielder. You know what? I'll pick Karni Chukwe Meka. I've been studying about him this previous past past week. Ch- uh, Karni Chukwe Meka plays for Aston Villa now. He's been promoted from the under 23 academy. people are like him to jack grilish um do i think he's a bit different but i think he's very physical and he looks very good on the ball and a lot of people in english media have been hyping him obviously so hyping him english media go hand hand in hand but they've been saying like yeah he's he's going to do very well for england he's one of one of the generational talent and all not seen a lot of him but so one match so yeah yeah that's what that that's what's coming in Kamavinga, if I can pick 18 year, but no, nah, I think Chuku Mikel stick him. Um, my defender would be that's easy. Ma- Mateja Milovanovic from Ajax. He's under 18. He's 17 year, just turned 17. Was 16, I think, a week ago. 
and he is excellent with the ball people like him to root gullet gullet yeah that sweeper who you know collects the ball and goes forward with the ball and beats his opposition like very technical from ajax obviously so i think these will be my three attacker defender midfielder moving on choose one possession counter attack park the bus long pass or high press i think it's very difficult to choose one because they you can't choose one i think it's very difficult to only adopt one strategy when you're playing football but personally because i like listen to high metal uh, heavy metal sorry not okay high press that's my for the uh, style of i like high press i just like people being brave and proactive and just pressing from the front because again like klopp said pressing is the best assistor counter pressing so when you press high you gain regain the ball higher and all i think that's what I like it's more based on pro- being proactive and work ethic and that physical uh, conditioning you need to do that and i like that i think it's active i think it's active and pro so pro <laughs> proactive question number 8 is your favorite player in each of these specialist roles regista trequartista and mezzala regista so when i whenever i hear the hear the word regista it's as a pirlo because i think i i think because of him the word was based on him i don't know it's an italian language obviously but i would say my regista would be it's a good one oh my regista would be again it's a muddled bias but i think one player doesn't get enough credit and i think you know him Jabi Alonso I think Jabi Alonso is the regista he's class by sit because regista means director in english i think he's a director he's a leader he's a general in command Jabi Alonso pings ball standing in a position doesn't need to move so much in different places i think that's what he need by regista i think pirlo obviously is the most obvious answer but i think Jabi Alonso my trekker tista that number 10 between the lines it's a bit historical because i mentioned in the beginning of this video that i have worked on arsen invincible i love uh, dennis burkamp i love him i think he's a proper trekartista i love he also played at inter milan so he has been in that italian culture he, it was a failure for him obviously but i think yeah my favorite goal of dennis burkamp has been that newcastle goal like that's one of the best goals i've seen in my life i'm not even joking on youtube so crazy i didn't even obviously was not watching football at that time dennis burkamp what a player <laughs> my trekartista and mezzella I think Mezzella has a lot of meanings, but I think what I perceive of it is as a number eight. As a number eight, you can be on half spaces a lot, not half space, but wing positions a lot. And Modric, Modric, or Iniesta. I'm confused between these two, but or Kante. <laughs> It's tough, but I'd pick Modric because again, this is biased, but he is one of the best after Riquel Me, one of the best ball playing Mezzellas around, without a doubt. Fantasista. That's what they call him actually. Fantasista. Those players who create. Moving on to the second last question and that is your preferred goalkeeper is it sweeper keeper or short stopper or ball playing keeper I think regarding the question 7 I faced and I chose high press when you play high when you press high you need goalkeepers who can be sweepers and obviously can be good with the ball but sweepers so I had to have to pick sweeper keeper uh, uh, yeah but I think there's more to sweeper keeper than only Manuel Neuer <laughs> Now moving on to the last question and that is in case of a transfer ban being subjected on Real Madrid which manager out of these do you think maximizes your chances of winning a silverware your options are option number 1 Jose Mourinho option number 2 Thomas Tuchel option number 3 Jurgen Klopp option number 4 Diego Simeone option number 5 Antonio Conte and option number 6 Marcelo Bielsa Ooh I think one player I haven't kept in the list is Unai Emery. I think he is the best in my opinion in terms of what he's doing with Villarreal right now is excellent with a limited budget and not those players. He barely nearly defeated Chelsea and he defeated obviously United in the Europa League. But if I pick one out of these I have to pick a German definitely. I have to pick German. So I I'd go with I'd go with Thomas Tuchel because I think he has that varying style of football. He can when my team is to defend he can be that guy who can maintain the low block when we need to press high you know if i talk about current budget score i think i think thomas tuchel might suit him though i am very really comfortable with carlo ancelotti obviously we demand more but yeah i'll pick thomas tuchel with all due respect to jose mourinho the special one uh, young club i think will be too blatant I, I i think that's it was very close between klopp and tuchel diego simeone i just don't like <laughs> it's my personal preference antonio conte i think he he, he demands A, a limousine with with, uh, with whenever he that's why he won't join Arsenal and Marcelo Bielsa just doesn't win though I like him a lot so I just say Thomas Tuchel that's it for- okay that is it for my today's video I hope you like it शुक्रिया अपने time के लिए for writing these questions uh, Nitika it was fun I hope I gave 
डिसेंट आंसर्स अगर मैं थोड़ा स्क्रीन पे तो देखता रहा एंड इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू एडिट देन आई एम रियली सॉरी इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू डील विद मी आई नो एंड दैट्स इट I will link your channel in the description box below in case you don't follow him please go and follow him and please like this video subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video from me i hope tum logo ko maza aaya ye video dekh ke jitna maza mujhe aaya yash ke liye ye questions banane mein and i hope yash ko maza aaya ye questions answer karne mein so thank you nitika pehli baat to um questions dene ke liye agar piche koi machhar aaya to i'm really sorry you have to add some layer on because mai adhe ghante se machhar bhaga raha tha mai kya kar raha hu khair i think that's enough bye That is it from me today. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.